Hello, I'm David Morgan. I'm with the California Department of Food and Agriculture and we're at the Arvin Field Station for Biological Control. I work with parasitoids that kill the glassy wing sharpshooter. These insects are very small wasps that parasitize the eggs of the glassy wing sharpshooter and the uh, wasps lay the eggs inside the eggs of the pest and uh, develop inside killing those eggs. Uh, the wasps emerge and look for more eggs. Uh, this is a way of controlling the um, sharpshooter without using chemicals. It's a very useful uh, tool in areas where we have very limited ability to apply insecticides, for instance in urban veg uh, vegetation or organic production. Inside this greenhouse we have cages with glassy wing sharpshooters in. Uh, we collected up the glassy wing sharpshooters from Southern California uh, out in the field or we reared them up in our own cages. They're then placed in these cages with plants that we grew ourselves. We check these cages twice a week for overposition. Um, the leaves are turned over and our researchers check and if there are any eggs laid the plants are removed and placed in a chamber for parasitism. We're in one of our two uh, shipping containers that we dedicate for the production of biological control agents. In this one we produce uh, Gonatosaurus trigatatus. Uh, the eggs that we collect up from our sharpshooter production facility are relocated to this facility and placed in these cages. Uh, they're placed in the, the cages with parasitoids and the parasitoids are left up, uh, to uh, lay their eggs inside the eggs of the glassy wing sharpshooter. After two weeks, the offspring of those parasitoids emerge and we collect them up with aspirators, uh, about a hundred for each vial. And these are then removed and placed in uh, cool storage until we wish to use them, usually within a, a week. Uh, these are shipped throughout Southern California and released uh, and then followed up with monitoring later. We have a benefit of being able to use parasitoids uh, very rapidly. Uh, when people use insecticides, for instance, one needs permits, uh, you need to hire the um, qualified personnel to apply with parasitoids. All we need to do is gain local approval and then we visit the locations and release the parasitoids. The other benefit of releasing them is that we can release them in locations uh, in proximity where, to where the pest is. We don't have to apply the uh, parasitoids directly to the pest. Um, these parasitoids have evolved to be able to find their hosts. And so every now and again we'll find locations where we can't get direct access to the infested area and we can release parasitoids in the locality. The other benefit is that uh, we can go in uh, more rapidly. So prior to insecticide treatment, we can go in and release at sites. Um, so every now and again in uh, central California, there'll be an outbreak of glassy wing sharpshooter and we can uh, send our parasitoids and have them released in that area. And that, they can, that area is then followed up with pesticide treatments. We can also release after treatment as a mop-up uh, strategy around the treatment area.